guys, Pete the Epic Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again. Hey, I've had a lot of email traffic from you guys asking me what is a Pilot Arc Plasma Cutter. So uh, have a look at the video and I'll do my best to explain it to you. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what's a Pilot Arc Plasma Cutter. So here we go, here's my Plasma Cutter here and uh, how do I know if it's Pilot Arc or non-Pilot Arc? Um, I'll just stick it back down here. Now the easiest way to, uh, to find that out is uh, if you ever look at your torch like so, your plasma torch. You see I've got mine plugged in there and you can hear it hissing, turn it on, it's hissing. Um, the air's coming out of there. And um, yeah, this torch here is a non-pilot arc torch for the simple reason that when I push the button here, no flame comes out of here. So what, what this means is, is that this torch has to make contact with the work that you're cutting like so, here I'll show you, just, just wait a second and I'll show you. So what that basically means guys, is, is that this torch here has to make contact with whatever you're cutting for the arc to start, for the plasma to start flowing out of your gun. I'll give you a demonstration. So I'll put the earth clamp on, on here like that, push the button on my torch like so, and then nothing comes out until I touch it on the steel. And then it creates the plasma arc, and then you can cut your steel. So this is a non-pilot arc machine. But I can convert it to a, uh, to a pilot arc machine. Uh, there's another video, if you have a look up the top, I can show you a quick way to convert it that, it, um, that it works as a pilot arc machine. I'll just give you a demonstration of a pilot arc. Right, so now we have exactly the same torch, exactly the same machine, but I've converted it to a pilot arc. Like I say, if you want to have a look at it, do it. Check out my videos up the top and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. But this is now a pilot arc torch. See, when you push the button, the flame automatically shoots out. You don't have to touch it on the steel for it to get it to work. And the pilot arc is better if you're cutting rusty steel and, and uh, that sort of stuff, or, or steel with paint on it. So you've got the earth like so. But um, yeah, basically the difference is between a pilot arc and a non-pilot arc. So this is now a pilot arc torch. When you push the button, the flame flies out of the top without you having to touch anything else, like so. And um, once again, I'll show you the non-pilot arc. So here you have the same torch again, same machine guys, and that's non-pilot arc now. See, I push the button, you can hear the air starting up, but it doesn't do anything until I touch it on the steel. And now it works again, a non-pilot arc. So the difference in, the, in these things is it depends what you want to cut. If you want to cut rusty steel and a lot of painted steel, you're better off with a pilot arc. If you want to cut new steel or just a little bit rusty steel like this, then you can use a, um, a non-pilot arc. So that's the difference really. A lot of you guys have asked me to explain the difference. Well, I hope, uh, hope I have in my, uh, in my own uh, way. It's probably as clear as mud, but anyway, um, yeah. So that's the difference guys, so if you like my videos, subscribe up top, I'm uh, full of helpful, handy hints for plasma cutters and that sort of stuff, I just love the tools, and um, all these uh, have different sort of consumables, different sort of plasma torches, check up the top, I'll put some videos up the top there and you, and you can have a look at those ones that I suggest that you watch if you want to learn a bit more about plasma cutting stuff, or um, yeah, just remember to subscribe to my channel, drop me a note if you've got something to say, you might have some better ideas than what I have on this plasma cutting stuff, but um, yeah. I enjoy, I certainly enjoy it, and I enjoy bringing the videos to you guys. So, like I say, if you like the channel, subscribe, drop me a comment, I'd love to have a yarn with you, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.